Mistletoe. Who wants to give me a kiss? Huh? You know you want to. So, there are lots of Christmas traditions, but my personal favorite, hey, is the amorous mistletoe. Tiny tech. Fine. Believe it or not, mistletoe actually grows from bird poop on the tops of trees and not rooted into the ground like most plants. It grew to popularity with the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Celts several hundreds of years prior to Christianity. Now to these ancient folk, seeing this beautiful plant grow on treetops seemingly out of nothing and with no roots was a miracle. And during the harsh snowy winters, all flowering plants died, but mistletoe didn't. For these reasons, these ancient societies worshipped mistletoe for its magical properties. My precious. During the Middle Ages, it was used medicinally and as a protective charm, and even the Vikings would stop a full force battle if they found mistletoe for fear of offending God's ultimate symbol of life. <coughs> HALT! Ironic, since it's a parasitic, poisonous plant that thrives by sucking life out of whatever plant it's growing on top of. It's from bird poop. But anyway, later the Christians adopted mistletoe as a symbol of Christianity and eventually of the Christmas holiday because they associated mistletoe with Jesus' resurrection, or the triumph of life over death. Mistletoe, guys! By the late 18th and 19th centuries, mistletoe had also grown to become a symbol of Jesus' eternal love, leading to a kissing game where young Victorian men would kiss a girl under the mistletoe and give her one berry from its branches. The girl holding the most berries by the end of the game was said to marry the next year. One more berry! <sighs> Sounds like the town slut to me! And good old Charles Dickens solidified this holiday tradition when he wrote it into his 1843 novel, A Christmas Carol. And today, mistletoe has completely lost its religious symbolism. That's a lot of history for just a little plant. A peacemaker, a protector, a miracle, a symbol of God's love, and then finally, a matchmaker. So, pucker up, folks. And get sloppy. Thanks for watching! Log on to our website, whyworld.tv, and submit a topic you're curious about. And remember, if you're asking why, find your answers at Whyworld.